is Kat of Homeschooling BNC. Welcome to another edition of Homeschool Hacks kung saan nag-share ako ng mga tips on how you can teach your kids at home and at the same time, mga tips na rin kung paano makatipid. Ano sa last video ko, um, nag-start na ako ng series kung paano namin tinuruan yung aming anak na magbasa. And, um, isa doon sa mga steps na sinare ko sa first video is, you have to develop your child's love for reading. So, for this home video of homeschool hacks, um, share ko sa inyo yung five tips na meron kami on how, or five tips on buying children's storybooks. So, aside from getting age-appropriate books for your kids, uh, these are five tips na natutunan ko along the way that I think might help you when choosing books for your kids. Okay? For my first tip, kung limited ang budget nyo and you are to choose between um, board books and cloth books, ako ang masasuggest ko, go for board books. Kasi, may cloth books, we have a few lang. Mahal! Mahal siya. And based on our experience, hindi masyado nagtagal yung interest ng anak namin, mga anak namin sa cloth books. So, nagamit namin sila for a very short time lang. Unlike pag board books, mas ma... Uh, yung interest nila, mas mahaba. Binabalik-balikan nila yung story. Um, kahit yung... Um, six year old ko, umabalik pa rin siya winukuha niya pa rin yung mga books from way way uh, back from years ago, so ayan so I would prefer, um, I would suggest na you go for a board book, tapos kung ano naman pwede rin yung foam books meron kaming foam books before and then kung, kung gusto niyo uh, bumili pa rin ng cloth books I would suggest you go for the quiet books, yun yung mga activity books, uh, those are the kind of um, cloth books na nagbinobot. My second tip when buying, uh, choosing children's storybooks, um, kuha kayo ng mga award-winning pieces, yung mga classics. Okay? Um, you can search online uh, yung list of Before 5 in a row. So, I have here some from Before 5 in a row. We have Good Night Moon. We have Runaway Bunny, Corduroy. So, yan yung mga classic books na yan kasi they've been uh, used for generations na as maganda yung uh, selection ng um, words tapos uh, tignan yung colors ito very uh, ano to maganda sa mata ng mga babies we started our first this is actually our first storybook in good night moon hanggang ngayon gusto pa rin yan ang anak ko so paano kung hindi nyo alam, napunta lang kayo sa sa uh, book sale, sabihin natin nandaan kayo sa bookstore pero hindi nyo alam kung ano yung mga classics so, paano nyo malalaman kung classic ba yun or maganda bang book yun ang akin kasi, ang tip ko for that initignan ko yung date kung kailan siya na unang na-publish okay, so here so we have here The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle isa sa mga classic books okay so, what I do is I look here. Sana mag-focus siya. Hindi siya nagpo-focus eh. Wait lang. Let's try to have it focused. Ayan. So, here. You see, it was copyrighted in 1969. Then, 1987. And then, this one was printed. I'm not so sure when it is printed. But this is a very, this is a brand new print eh. Yeah, so titingnan niyo kung kailan siya unang na print. So here it was in 1969. So alam mo luma na talaga siya, di ba? So yeah, so that's a classic. Oh, di ba? Oh, yun. So that's one tip. Tingnan natin yung ibang books. So Corduroy here. So you can see it was first copyrighted in 1968. So 1968 siya copyright. There. Oh. So, it's a classic. And then, Good Night Moon. This was way, way, way back in the 1950s pa. I am. Oh, copyright in 1947. Oh. 
Yan. So, tignan nyo kung kailan siya first, um, first na, ano, na copyright or first printed. So, then you can base it from there. And then, pwede nyo na tignan, like here in Kailu. Meron naman kayo makikita sa likod. Ayan. Meron naman siya kung ano yung age appropriate. Ayan. This was in 1987 pa. first print. Kung wala kayo, tip number four, kung wala kayo makitang classics or any award-winning books, you look for books na merong uh, mga ganitong plot, ganitong mga stories. Uh, first, uh, it teaches uh, books na merong nagtuturo na good health habits, katulad ng uh, this one, ito, uh, washing up, ngayon, tuturuan siya paano siya magwash, meron tayo um, good health habits sa pagkain ng gulay, ganyan ng mga stories na ganun, or um, paano magpati, ganyan, gumamit ng pati, e, so, so, yun yung mga magandang topics na pwede yung hanapin sa mga, sa mga bookstores. Another, uh, siguro, type ng storybooks na ma pwede nyong bilhin is yung the ones that teach good values. Katulad ng this, this one. Yan, I am generous. Yung tuturuan siya paano maging generous. We have here uh, some books on teaching good values. Like yan, pa. Huwag mag-tease, huwag mag-reklamo, huwag mag-tattletale. Yan. So, so mga ganun. So, mga, mga books na, na, na tuturo ng good values. And then, another one would be stories where um, kids can relate to the story. Um, it would, for example, uh, school setting. Papasok siya sa school. So, uh, get a storybook na meron na, tutu na ang stories about the kid going to the school. Or, uh, in our case, bago, bago ako mga anak sa second child ko, sa daughter ko, I got this book for my son, so I'm in for Sonny Eldest. So, ito para makarelate siya na I'm a big brother. Para alam niya kung ano mangyayari pag dumating na yung bagong baby. Yan. So, get books like this. Or, ito isang sample pa. Um, before kasi, medyo takot siya sa dilim. So, ito from Adarna Books. Si Chino takot sa dilim. So, any stories na makakarelate yung bata. So, those are good story books. Pwede rin kayo bumili ng mga stories na related sa Bible, Bible stories. You can never go wrong with Bible stories. Ngayon, depende sa religion nyo, kung hindi naman kayo naniniwala sa Bible, uh, meron kayo ibang paniniwala, I guess you can go get uh, books, story books na related sa religion nyo. Yeah. Once sa tuto na magbasa inyong anak, you can now buy books that are reading appropriate level, or reading appropriate level. Tama ba sinabi ko? <laughs> uh, appropriate sa level ng pagbabasa ng inyong anak. So, a uh, good uh, beginning siguro, good start would be get phonics-based books. Like this one, the phonics and reading. Uh, uh, habang lumat, tumataas yung uh, book number, yung proficiency niya na pagbabasa, tumataas din. Ayan. So, ayan. So, one, one sample is phonics reading. Uh, I also got a phonics reading program. Ito, Clifford. And then, for mas scholastic ka maraming ganyan eh. And then, scholastic, they have here, ito, oh, level 1. So, if you can look at the back. So, sabi niya, ang level 1 is for rising star reader. And then, level, eh, pre-level pala yun. Level 1 is a star reader. Yan, meron may easy sight words. And words to sound out. Yan. So, depende dun sa level ng anak nyo. So, you can get those books. Scholastic talaga yung nakita ko na may ganito. Ito, like this one. This is level 4. So, I'll get. Yan. Meron sa likod. Kung ano ang level ng. Pwede nyo kunin para sa. Uh, kakayahan na anak nyo magbasa. So, those are my tips on choosing your storybooks. I have to go now. My baby is now crying. And I thank you again for watching. Bye!